All right, my friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing you Daily Horoscope for Monday, the 16th of November, 2020. We've got the moon moving through the middle, middle-ish degrees of Sagittarius, okay? Right around 11 to 12 o'clock uh, in, the, in the afternoon. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, the, the moon moving through 15 degrees of Sagittarius is going to form a trine down there to Mars, now direct. Okay, Mars has been retrograde, moving backwards, sleeping for the past two months pr pretty much. Uh, and now our planet of action and motivation uh, is moving forward. Okay, which means we're getting things done. We're getting traction beneath us, where it's just like we've, we've, we've been in this sink or swim kind of feeling with Mars retrograde. Okay, now it's just like, oh, we have forward momentum. We've got a buoy, you know, and now uh, us treading water, we're actually going toward land. We're actually going toward our destination. We're not just floating idle in purgatory or this uh, unknown kind of space that we've, a lot of us have been floating in, right? So, so the moon... It, it, getting an extra boost to Mars now direct, okay? So the moon, just like we talked about on Sunday here, that has gone uh, uh, into the sign of Sagittarius, is about seeking knowledge, seeking information, seeking wisdom, seeking the guru or the, the, the person that, that has studied this knowledge before me, okay, so I can rely on them to, to expand my own horizon, expand my mind, expand my beliefs, okay? So as the moon has an emotional need to seek this stuff out, uh, creating that trine, which is an easy flow of energy, fire sign to fire sign, which is the spark and initiative, Mars and Aries, is saying we have no problems seeking this out today. We have no problems going um, beyond what self is possible. You know, it's like the Sagittarius energy uh, is the centaur, right? It's the half man top with the horse bottom, okay, meaning... Our mind, okay, is there. The the knowledge, the the philosopher. This is the you know the philosopher, the the um, the teacher. Again, the guru, the 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 pastor, or the shaman, the the, the you know the scholars, basically, the old wise person, you know, Sagittarius. So it's like we have the, the frontal lobes, we have the wise person's mind with the horse body, which is saying there's no terrain that's going to stop me. You know, there's no river that's going to stop me to where the human body, you know, is limited. Okay, so the horse, the horse half of this Sagittarius centaur is the uh, I'm not as limited. Okay, I'm not flying, I'm not free flying, I'm not a bird, but at the same time, you know, I'm able with more weight and, and strength uh, to move into this unknown, to move into this space, okay? Uh, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're moving into this space. We're continuing to move through our shadow, okay, and, and, and rediscover ourselves. We just had this really lovely new moon happen here uh, in Scorpio where it's like we're rediscovering self, okay? Rediscovering ourselves and who we are and what we're capable of, you know, most importantly. And I think that's one of the cool things about this trine here today is what we're capable of doing. You know, we can, I've got this, this little thing that I'm hanging in my room. It's like a little card and it just says every once in a while, blow your own damn mind, you know? And I, it's just like a little reminder, like, yeah, do something that you think you're not capable of doing and surprise yourself, you know? So we have that kind of energy here today that we can kind of surprise ourselves and do something that we were unaware of. All right. Uh, and then at 9 PM, like we talked about here uh, on Sunday, you know, the moon here is connecting with the south node. This is a need not only to discover, okay, because that's, that's what we've been doing here with Venus. Venus uh, saying discover, move forward. The balance is shifted. I'm not just leaning on and relying on other people uh, smarter than myself to pull the weight, you see. It's me now moving forward seeking me a need to seek, a need to know, a need to understand, a need to bring this into my own psyche, a need to bring this into my own uh, vat of knowledge so I can be able to use it as a tool in my belt, right? How cool is that? Okay, so this isn't just going to the blacksmith to, to get something done. This is learning to be the blacksmith or whatever that is that you're, you know, that you're manifesting during this time. Okay, so this comes with a, a certain sense of ease today. You know, with this trine from the moon to Mars, we're, we're seeking, moving forward, going in this direction. Um, and we're, we're also taking into the aspect of, of 
the mind that we are able to be that that blacksmith or that great whatever that wizard the guru the the yogi uh, whatever it is you know um and it's just time and practice and that's a further you know the sextile between the sun and jupiter uh, and saturn okay this is saying you know day by day we you know how do you get to carnegie hall practice that you don't just you don't just become the master overnight you know and it's it's uh, continuing the shadow work continuing seeing our own reflection okay continuing to think deep continuing to be vulnerable and open continuing to want uh, the need the the to understand the value in our own lives how important this is okay this goes with our daily practices right so this is like this this daily practice this helps us get to where we're, we're trying to get going uh, you know kind of like what we talked about last week that there's there's no there's no plateau there's no like final result like oh i've made it this is it now it gets e the easy street you know i don't remember what day we put that one out but you know this is reminding us of that kind of energy like yeah we're going to continue to do this kind of work we're going to continue to push forward we're going to continue self-discovery uh and, and and to not doubt ourselves that we have the ability to one day you know if we keep practicing to be that guru to be the the the, the teacher you know, so day by day, my friends, as always, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Appreciate you. Have a beautiful time journey, journeying the moon in Sagittarius is always a journey, journeying into the unknown aspects of our psyche, letting go aspects of ourselves that no longer serve us and finding some momentum and some traction underneath us to move forward uh, in whatever direction it is that makes our heart happy to bring balance into ourselves, into our daily life. All right, starting off our week strong, my friends. Have a beautiful Monday, and we'll see you tomorrow.